The idea there is that when the mother gives birth, instinctively she will kiss and cuddle um, and, and the baby, and, and what she is doing there is seeding her own salivary organisms, her own oral organisms, to her baby. We find that um, in the first few weeks of life, babies will pick up, will inherit, will start to grow the same bacteria, largely, that the mother has. So although we equally inherit from our mother and from our father our genes, we tend to disproportionately acquire from our mother our bacterial population. So the strategy that we are excited about at the moment is giving ladies at the end of their pregnancy a good dose of K12 so that they can then naturally populate bacteria, give baby the advantage of K12 right from the first few weeks of life. And baby, some babies um, uh, worldwide are vulnerable in those very first few weeks to group B strep infection. This is another bad streptococcus. It's even worse for a young baby than strep pyogenes because group B streptococcus can worldwide now cause a lot of deaths of young babies in those first few weeks and months of life. Well, we know that K12, bliss, can actually inhibit the growth of group B strep. So my point is that right from birth, it can be good, or it is good, it is definitely good to have uh, strep salivarius K12.